In 2018, NASA embarked on a new exploration journey, not into the vastness of outer space, but into the depths of the oceans. The world's largest space agency chose to dive underwater to unravel mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface. This ambitious undertaking demands the application of cutting-edge knowledge and technologies. In this video, we'll delve into the challenges NASA is gearing up to confront deep under the sea. We'll explore how James Cameron's expertise can aid in the quest for extraterrestrial life and why the ocean continues to be one of humankind's most significant enigmas. Join us Cosmic Inquires as we delve into the exploration of a place deeper than the Mariana Trench, a discovery that leaves us pondering? Now, let's discuss the limitations of human exploration beneath the waves. While probes are essential for investigating outer space, the ocean presents a unique opportunity for individuals to conduct their own studies by diving in. However, the average person, without specialized equipment, can only descend to a modest depth of 6 meters. With a scuba set, this depth increases to 40 meters, and exceptional free divers can reach 100 meters. Yet, this pales in comparison to the vast expanse of the ocean, which extends far beyond the epipelagic zone, where sunlight can still penetrate down to 200 meters. Meet Ahmed Gaber, a record-breaking scuba diver who plunged to an astonishing 332 meters, reaching the mesopelagic or the midnight zone. This zone, extending from 200 to 1,000 meters below the surface, is beyond the reach of even the most advanced military submarines. Here, life has adapted to semi-darkness, featuring creatures with large eyes and bioluminescence. This realm hosts 90% of all fish, totaling around 10 billion tons, with the creepy cyclophone population alone at 1 quadrillion fish. Yet, the deep-sea trenches, stretching across many more kilometers, guard numerous secrets that remain unexplored. Venturing even deeper, we encounter the Mariana Trench, home to the Challenger Deep, the deepest point beneath the western Pacific Ocean at 11,034 meters. Surviving at this depth, where pressure is 100 times higher than at the surface, necessitates specialized watercraft. The renowned Deep Sea Challenger, used by filmmaker James Cameron in 2012, is among the few vehicles to have explored these depths. Prior to this, in 1960, the Trieste Bathyscaphe carried Lt. Don Walsh and Jacques Picard to become the first to reach the ocean floor. However, the challenges of the Hadal Zone, starting from 6 kilometers and reaching the oceanic trench bottom, persist, housing bizarre life forms like disco jellies, snailfish resembling water dragons, and ophidian fish turned inside out. The pursuit of understanding the deep ocean has not been without setbacks. Modern remotely controlled vehicles, like the underwater vehicle Nereus, sometimes struggle to endure the harsh conditions of the ocean floor. In 2014, Nereus succumbed to the high pressure at around 10 kilometers in the Kermatic Trench, leading to a hiatus in related studies. The oceans on Earth, especially the more inaccessible and hostile ones, continue to pose challenges that stretch our exploration capabilities. But why are extraterrestrial oceans even more mysterious than our own? Europa, Jupiter's moon, possesses a surface made of water ice with an estimated thickness of 15 to 25 kilometers. Beneath this icy shell lies an ocean, and scientists speculate that life might exist around hydrothermal vents, akin to deep-sea life on Earth. Enceladus, Saturn's moon, also shows promise as a potential habitat, with steam jets breaking through its polar ice discovered by the Cassini probe in 2018. To uncover the potential life in these extraterrestrial oceans, we may need probes similar to Nereus, but the depths are staggering, Enceladus might have a 30-kilometer deep ocean, and Europa's waters could be 60 to 150 kilometers deep, 15 times deeper than Earth's oceans. Exploring these depths opens up possibilities and challenges that stretch our understanding of the oceans, both on Earth and beyond. Exploring the ocean's mysteries may seem like a stroll in the park for James Cameron's team, but it's no cakewalk. Serious preparations are underway, courtesy of NASA, who has wisely decided to practice deep diving right here on Earth. So, how is NASA planning to unravel the secrets hidden in the mysterious ocean pits of our planet? We've dipped into coastal waters with scuba sets and delved into Bathus Caves, yet the majority of the water territory remains a puzzle. Approximately 80% of the ocean, specifically the bathypelagic and abyssopelagic zones, also known as the Midnight Zone and the Abyss, remains unexplored. In these deep-sea realms, where high pressure reigns, remarkable species like the tripod fish and the deep-sea angler fish thrive. However, our knowledge of the deep-sea world is limited, given the zero visibility. Research in these zones involves groping around in darkness, and the operational time of submersibles under enormous pressure is restricted, preventing thorough exploration. 
Enter NASA's solution, the Orpheus, an underwater drone designed to fill in the gaps on ocean maps. Weighing 250 kilograms, this relatively small probe is made of syntactic foam, a buoyant composite material filled with tiny glass beads for durability. Equipped with high-sensitivity cameras and sensors, borrowed from the Perseverance Mars rover, the Orpheus can examine rocks, shells, living organisms, and create 3D maps of the ocean floor. With its powerful flashlight, the drone efficiently conserves energy while capturing high-quality images. Drawing inspiration from James Cameron's bathyscaphe used in the Mariana Trench, the Orpheus promises to unveil mysterious creatures that have eluded discovery until now. The potential discoveries in the obscure world of the oceans are vast. From prehistoric sharks that may challenge our probes to hypothetical Atlantean citizens protecting their secret city, or even extraterrestrial beings avoiding detection, the possibilities are intriguing. Share your expectations in the comments, who knows what we might find lurking in the abyss. Just remember, as you gaze into the ocean's depths, the abyss might be gazing back at you. Suit up and stay curious. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content.